So now, um, uh, going from the brain to uh, the human, maybe at large and culture at large, we have, uh, and I'll, and I'll, cl I'll clobber your, the pronunciation of your last name. So Pascal here from uh, the Center uh, for Academic Research and Training in Anthropogeny. Um, so thinking about the human phenomena in it from a very multidisciplinary approach. Yes. Well, good afternoon. Thanks very much for being here and thanks for the opportunity to present CARTA today. My name is Pascal Gagneux and I will talk today about CARTA, which stands for the Center for Academic Research and Training in Anthropogeny. Uh, we endeavor to explore and explain the human phenomenon. Anthropogeny is Greek for human origins or becoming human and that is a very long story. We are recent newcomers to, uh, to, to, this, to this universe, and the anthropogenic quest is, is shamefully anthropocentric. We're trying to make sense how one out, out of over 300 living primates came to spread across the planet and colonize every nook and cranny, especially if we take into account that we have some very close living relatives, the great apes, that are restricted to the tropical forests of Africa. This includes our two closest living relatives. They are more closely related to us than to any other primate, chimpanzees and bonobos, with whom we shared a common ancestor six million years ago. In the last six million years, across Africa, we find fossils that date back to six million years, all of them showing signs of bipedality, bipedal ape-like things, initially with small brains, until about two million years ago with the emergence of the genus Homo with large brains and after that the colonization of the old world by human-like species. There were multiple lineages. We know one of these lineages was our ancestors. Recent data from fossil DNA indicate that more than one of these lineages might have been our ancestor. We don't quite know which, but we know that there were times where there were multiple species of humans roaming the planet. It was not until about 200,000 years ago that we find clear evidence for symbolic behavior in the shape of communicative art, complex tools, ornamentation, death rituals, possibly language, and inklings evidence for a theory of mind, the capacity to, to read the mind of others. So what propelled this one species out of many lineages to show these characteristics? Meanwhile, we have a lot of embarrassingly simple questions to which we have no answers. Why are we bipedal? How old is the use of fire? Why are we so big brained? Why is a human brain three times the size of a chimpanzee brain? Might it have to do with cooking and fire? Possibly. How did we become symbolic? How old is language? And most importantly, why only us? Why are we the only primate that likes to ponder the crania of our fellow primates? So really, anthropogeny is, is looking back on deep history. It's a historical approach to something that seems to have happened only once, an evolutionary singularity. And we have different tools. We have traditional history, which relies on written language. That gets you about four and a half thousand years back, the age of written language. You can compare languages, use historical linguistics. The time horizon there is around, uh, around 10,000 years, which is you know, nothing. Ancient DNA, with recent advances, gets us back to 300,000 years. For horses, 700,000 years. Archaeology, the oldest clearly human-made stone tools from Gona, Ethiopia, are two and a half million years old. And of course, paleontology gives us a glimpse into these other species, possibly our ancestors that roamed different parts of the Earth. So the final approach will have to be a comparative approach where we, we, we take uh, a comparative approach using morphology, genetics, culture, uh, to try to piece together this story. So what does CARTA do? CARTA is a virtual organization that brings together experts from around the world in a large variety of fields, with expertises ranging from molecules to models, from synapses to societies, from culture to climate, and from fossils to field primatology. CARTA has been organizing three yearly symposia. You might have seen some of these widely advertised events. There is a Friday afternoon event that's open to the public, but these symposia are followed by a closed meeting on the Saturday taking place at the Salk Institute, during which a small group of transdisciplinary, multidisciplinary experts discuss topics, the same topic covered in the public symposium. 
across disciplines with great challenges at speak, trying to speak each other's language. And so over the last few years, we have, uh, we've had resulting from these discussions over 200 research publications, uh, many of them collaborations between people who would otherwise not have collaborated. Many of these in, in, in fairly respectable uh, publications. Over the last few years, we've also included local graduate students. These are PhD students at UCSD in existing programs that have expressed an interest in human origins. They get paired with speakers. They come to the symposia. They get to interact with the speakers. Most importantly, they get to witness the difficulties that different disciplines have, all interested in human origins, but all using a different angle. And they participate. So in one overview, we, we organize these, these, uh, these public symposia, followed by the closed symposia in smaller groups, but including 10 graduate students. We have transdisciplinary collaboration projects. We involve students through research rounds, lectures, seminars, and even a field course taught in East Africa, where they get to experience fossils, non-human primates, and living hunter-gatherers firsthand. We also have a museum of primatology, which includes precious collections of non-human primate skeletal material and CT scans. And we have a website on which live, among other things, um, resources such as the Matrix of Comparative Anthropogeny, which is a collection of over 500 topics that uh, relate directly to unique human aspects of biology, culture, behavior, and so forth. Carta is a, a truly UCSD-wide phenomenon. It includes people from the SOC as well, the Sanford Consortium, uh, SIO, and across many different departments on campus. And, and I, I, I think it is crucial that for the future of CARTA, there continues to be support from, uh, from UCSD. Why would you be interested in human origins? In part, I have yet to meet someone who's not interested in where he or she is from. But there are direct practical implications. In medicine, the notion of the hygiene hypothesis is prompting a lot of very important research on mismatches between our immune system and modern life. Nutrition, we're an omnivorous primate that became a top predator and recently settled down and domesticated animals and plants. Society, it turns out that primates are profoundly pro-social. We are reproducing at later and later ages and children do well with a lot of caretakers. So to finish, just like this delicious soup, a paleolithic soup cooked with hot stones, but Carta is bubbling along. It needs more hot stones to stay bubbling. We want to share this with everyone. We want to improve it. We want to combine it with other tasty projects. And of course, it will need tweaking, more hot stones, and uh, possibly more salt and other spices. So I'm representing Carta here, which is led by these people, and I thank you very much. Thank you. Do we have? A uh, question or two from the audience? Yes. W one sec, one sec. Wait for your... You, you, you focused nicely on the uh, tie into the graduate students. It's impressive to see the multidisciplinary uh, uh, draw there across the, so many departments on the other campus. Has there been time yet to uh, reach down to the undergraduate level as well uh, uh, and, and offer them the fruits of anthropogeny with all the hot stones? That's a very good point. Uh, minimally, we have participated in the human development program that Pharrell Ackerman runs. So I've actually guest lectured there, but we haven't had direct implication of undergrad students so far. But uh, I think that would be, you know, it's, it's a no-brainer that it should happen. Okay, thank you very much.